Coming up in today's video, I went to yard sales and I found some really cool stuff to keep for ourselves and to resell. I also went to Goodwill and I found a pair of shoes that every other reseller missed. I had a really fun time filming today's vlog and if you're new to our channel, this is something that we do all the time. We search for treasures, we find stuff, sometimes we keep it, sometimes we flip it online for a profit and that's what this channel is all about. So if you like stuff like this, don't forget to subscribe. One last thing, this July 4th, happy July 4th by the way, this July 4th at 6 p.m. Eastern time, everything you see on the wall behind me, we will be auctioning off on Whatnot starting at $1. So if you have not yet signed up for Whatnot, I put a link in the description of today's video. Click on that link, sign up for Whatnot, you get $15 free to spend. Come to our show July 4th at 6 p.m. and maybe you'll get one of these beautiful pieces. And without further ado, let's get into today's video. Can I open this? Which do you know which one it is? There's two of them with clothes. There's two. Oh. That was so cute. That's cute. You know, I wanna. So that's why I have uh, ten dollars. The shoes. Gotcha. That one. Cute. It's a really good deal. How much was the shirt? Fifty cents. Okay. I don't have change. Will you do ten dollars for with the shirt? Okay, I appreciate it. So I made my first buy of the day. I bought two Build a Bears. I bought them mainly because of this one. This one has the Disney Aladdin on the foot. And then there's all these like clothes and shoes. I don't know exactly how much this stuff is worth. I paid ten dollars and I got a shirt, that Bucky shirt for Allie. I got that thrown in. But I don't know, some Build-A-Bear stuff can be worth a lot of money. I thought it was worth the gamble with the Disney brand on it. I'll probably list everything together without the box so we can ship in our own box. But I'll probably list everything together and you know, if we get 30 bucks, that's awesome. Ma'am, how much are you asking on the painting? That one there? Mm-hmm. 20. Okay. It is a, it is a real painting. If you look on there, you can, uh, we sell it for that. I was going to do that, but it's actually by Shrill. If you look at that, that's cool. This alone is 20 bucks, but veggie, you could triple whatever your money on it. <laughs> More than that, actually. I'm not looking the reason. I'm an artist, so I know I, I I painted that one with a girl. Cool. That one right there. Which one? Oh, nice. Very cool. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be reselling it. Huh? I wouldn't be reselling it. Oh, really? You're going to keep it? Yeah. I would give you 10 bucks for it. Give me 10? Yep. All right. Yes? Yeah. Cool. But you need to look it up though. Okay. <laughs> My wife's gonna love it. Man, she really wanted to sell me that painting. It is a cool painting. I couldn't really find much by that artist. I know she really wanted me to look that one up. And I legitimately did buy that painting for Allie. Allie is collecting like cool paintings and frames for when we finally turn this, we're turning this warehouse into a house, into a barn dominium house, which is, uh, we'll have updates with that soon. I know we haven't given an update for a while, but we are, we're getting there, <laughs> we are getting there. But yeah, that frame or painting, I don't really know, but $10 seemed fair and she really wanted to sell it. I probably could have offered five, but I felt like $10 was fair. My camera wasn't on for that last sale. That kind of sucks, but I bought this Logitech remote. It is in the box. He said it was new, had it priced $10. It is obviously, it. I can't sell this as brand new in the box because the tabs have come off, but I did open it up and it looks like everything is in like original sealed condition. So how we can sell this is what's called new open box. So can't sell it as new factory sealed, but we can sell it as new open box. And I didn't pay $10, I paid $5 for it. So I think five into uh, maybe like 35 to $50. I'm not entirely sure. There's one listed for like 80 something dollars brand new. So let's, let's be conservative and call it $5 into 35 bucks. Yeah, it's a piece of driftwood that someone like carved a fish like front too. Oh, I didn't even see that. Yeah, the that's pretty like cool. Like a... Yeah, that's sick. Hmm. 
I might do like 10 bucks on that. 10 bucks, okay. I'll grab the fish for 10. Okay. I appreciate you. No, cool, thanks. Thank you. That piece of driftwood is actually pretty cool. It's big, it's a big piece and the end of it is carved into a fish. That's another one that we're gonna keep for our new home when we move out here. I think it'll, I don't know, I think it'll look pretty cool on the wall or maybe I'll put it in my office or something. Is that a real knife? Oh my God, that's hilarious. Uh, that for real? Yeah. <laughs> that's so wow. funny, dude. <laughs> right? That's crazy. How much are the tees up here? Uh, they're right like two. Two bucks. Tables one. And this was two? Yeah. So for $5 at that sale, I got three pretty cool pieces. This is a vintage Dale Earnhardt bag, like a nice duffel bag. The zipper works great. And I think this will go really well on one of our whatnot shows. Paid a dollar for it. Well, paid five dollars for three pieces, but I think we should be able to sell this for, I don't know, maybe 10, 15 bucks. It is all embroidered. Pretty nice. And then this is a 2003, what size are you? Size large. We've got the Diamond Rio, I believe. Really nice shirt, good condition. Again, 2003, band tees seem to do pretty well for us and whatnot. So that's where this one will go as well. And then on my favorite tag, the 90s extra large Fruit of the Loom tag, I couldn't leave this behind. The Jazzercise shirt, I don't know. It says, I had a blast, Jazzer blast, Jazzercise. It has a little Nike swoosh on it as well. So we'll throw this up again for a dollar on whatnot and we'll see how it sells. So it's Monday, July 3rd at 9.54 a.m. and I've parked the car to charge it really quick. This is something that I do on Mondays. I charge the car and then in this same parking area, there's a Goodwill retail store. For those of you that don't know, thrift stores are another way that we source inventory to flip online. So we'll buy stuff at Goodwill, Salvation Armies, and we'll flip those items on websites like eBay for profit. I found this pullover. It is a, obviously a bootleg. It's not a real thing but I think it's funny Homer Simpson on the Nike swoosh they wanted seven dollars for it I usually would get it but I'm gonna leave it here's another really cool piece another reprint so a newer one on the screen printed biggie tag and they want four dollars for it not too bad it's a size small sometimes we'll pick these up as like giveaways for our whatnot shows and then behind it there's a Space Jam shirt the the new Space Jam shirt the one with LeBron and then right down here another really cool shirt another newer one but Made in the 90s, this one makes me happy. You got Rocket Power, Angry Beavers, Hey Arnold, and Rocker's Modern Life. Great shirt. This one I did end up picking up. It is a long sleeve Grateful Dead shirt. Again, another newer print, but I love the graphic on this. Really cool, the Bertha with the roses. This will make for a, a really cool giveaway for somebody on one of our whatnot shows. Now this one I'll probably keep and sell Maybe on whatnot, we'll see. I might hold on to it for a little bit. It's the Run Floyd, looks like Run DMC, but it's the Run Floyd Team Pacquiao. So this was the Manny Pacquiao versus Floyd Mayweather boxing shirt. It's very cool. And then I took a look through the shoes and I'm telling you guys, I saw four other resellers walk right past the shoes that I'm about to show you. All they wanted were the Jordans and they missed out on these entirely. Brand new with tags, Vivo barefoot shoes. These are incredibly expensive. These things new are like $150 plus and Goodwill was only charging $10 for them. Everyone missed them, but I'll take them. And listen, I'm really not trying to be mean here, but when I see four other resellers, like clearly resellers, walk right past these shoes to go grab like the $25 pair of Jordans. Guys, there's other stuff out there besides Nikes and vintage t-shirts. So just look around more, do some more research. You're doing a great job by watching videos like this because maybe this is the first time you've seen this brand. This is a great brand. This shoe brand new costs around $170. Resale value on them brand new, probably about $140. So that's $10 into 140 bucks. Just because I know what I'm looking for and I've taken the time to research other brands and learn something new. That's all I'm saying. Nothing against everybody who goes out there and you know thrifts and makes a little bit of extra side money. That's There's nothing wrong with that. 
but especially at this store, like at this store in particular, there's this one guy, he's maybe, he's probably like mid twenties, maybe like 25 years old. And without fail, he's there every single day. Every time I go in there too, it doesn't matter what time he goes and he stands by where the new stuff comes out. Like when the new racks come out and as soon as they come out the door, he's there like looking through the stuff, which again, it's a hustle. I get it. But he's probably there eight hours a day. Maybe if he gets lucky, he's getting a couple good things at the Goodwill and maybe making, what, $250 for the whole day, minus expenses, minus time. Sometimes it's just better to go get a job, you know, if that's what you're going to do. I understand if it's a passion, but there's it's just really hard right now to make a full-time income as a thrifter. Part-time, great, do your thing. But full-time, you may want to reconsider. You can go get a job making like 20 bucks an hour right now with health benefits. Listen, reselling full-time is very difficult. It's not how everyone makes it seem online. We try our best to show the reality. But reselling full-time is not for, you know, 98% of the people out there. 98% of the people can make a side income doing it, and that's awesome. But if you are trying to go full-time, in my opinion, you shouldn't just do it by staying at the same thrift store all day long. Anyway, end of rant. Let's go up to the warehouse. Look at that pretty bulldog. I see you. I see the bulldog. We had some pretty good sales over the weekend on eBay. So let's pack and ship those and I'll show you how much they sold for. This pair of shoes sold for $37 and I think 87 cents. I don't know, it was a weird price, but <laughs> call it $38. Never sold this brand before, but they sold fairly well and they're light. They'll cost not too much to ship. UIN is the brand. In bin AJ, we've got this little Timex stretchy watch. Not a vintage one, just in that vintage style but still a nice watch and it sold for $30. We found this at a garage sale, I believe for a dollar. Back over to Bin AJ. This was a New York find. Shout out Allie. Allie found this one. This is Belle from the Peanuts series. Not Snoopy, but Belle. See those pretty little eyelashes? This is a cool piece. We found it at the first Goodwill we went to in New York when we were out there and it sold on eBay for $50, 50 bucks for that one. Nice little higher end t-shirt sale here. This is Exodus Bonded by Blood, 1987-88 tour. Pretty good condition, it was missing the tag and it did have a little hole under the armpits. All of that was explained in the listing and this sold overseas. So this one's going overseas. We took a best offer on it of $400. So a pretty good little sale on the vintage Exodus piece. Over to Ben. A H. We've got a really cool Pendleton piece here. This is a vintage Pendleton long sleeve wool shirt. Picked this one up at, I believe it was at a Goodwill. Yeah, it was at a Goodwill in Virginia when we were out there. There's a little tag. This one was unique because it has the elbow patches, little nice little leather elbow patches. Great condition, no flaws on this at all and it sold for us on eBay for $42 with free shipping. We sold some other stuff on eBay over the weekend as well, but those were some of my favorite sales. And then here's a pretty cool sale. We sold this vintage Spider-Man shirt along with this vintage Venom shirt. So these sold together for $600 and this was a direct sale on Instagram. So I bought a bunch of stuff. I posted what I thought were pretty cool pictures. I took some pictures with Ali's plants and the t-shirts. I think it looked pretty cool. And someone hit me up on Instagram and offered, I, I said $700, they offered 600 bucks for the pair, which is totally cool. So nice little sale on those two. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Again, my name is Ryan Roots and I really appreciate you watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And again, if you would like to come bid on some vintage t-shirts, this July 4th, we're having an amazing sale. Thanks again, everyone. We'll see you on the next video. Later, bye.